Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have Lord. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against our holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, Take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are all who take, take refuge, refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the people utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of, of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you, and of, ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod, you shall shelter them, shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed, Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Yeah. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do the signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Abundant Monday blessings. Mondays can be welcome days or they can be very odd days. Sometimes, especially after a very busy weekend, Mondays seem to be a time of not only recollection, but also sometimes trying to reestablish a sense of, of order, a sense of... of um, the process of the journey, if you will, for the coming week, given sometimes that our weekends can um, be times of, of less structure. Well, we have now just come off of a time, a holy time of much structure. We have uh, spent an entire eighth day, an entire octave in joyful celebration of the rising of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, the octave of Easter. And yesterday, so filled with the grace of the divine mercy, the second Sunday of Easter, the end of the Easter octave, and the filling of, of our lives with our Lord's divine mercy. And therefore, on this Monday, there is a risk. There is a risk now that if we were a sailing ship, that our sails have been filled with wind and we have been, been moving forward at a good clip with our sails um, just thoroughly uh, full and, and moving the ship forward. And now there's the risk that after the octave of Easter, after Divine Mercy Sunday, then we slip into the doldrums and the sails begin to luff a little bit and the ship can bob and go in different directions and we lose some of that sense of order and direction. And it is imperative now that we do not do that. We cannot afford to enter into a time of coasting, a time of doldrum. If anything, we are called to be even more bold. It is especially important in this time of uncertainty, this time of chaos, when the rest of the world, to a certain extent, continues to ask, what is going to happen? Who will save us? Who will rescue us? What should we do? 
it is remarkable to hear about very uh, seemingly educated and um, and uh, uh, very public persons who admit that during this time of crisis they have sought the refuge of their bed curling up in the fetal position and wondering oh my word what are we going to do and as Christians we cannot do that we absolutely cannot do that it is imperative that we listen with great attention today to the Acts of the Apostles. We have a group of previously coward, cowardly souls who were confused and unsure of how to act, and yet upon contact with the risen Christ, with Jesus Christ risen from the dead, they have new purpose, new order, and a new boldness of their speech. We hear in the Acts of the Apostles that the servants were enabled to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done. This is not a time to enter into the lobbing and bobbing of the windless doldrums. We must stay true to the course. We must keep our sails filled with holy wind, if you will, and we must be able to speak to the faithlessness and to the chicken little sky is falling society around us with a boldness and with a surety of our faith. And we also must know that faith. If we are unsure as to what we believe, we must seek out every possibility of knowing the fullness of our faith. Poor Nicodemus, a man who was well respected in the Jewish community, a man of great Jewish learning, and yet he is still thoroughly unsure as to how even to address the Christ. We know you are a teacher. We know you have come from God. We know you are a holy man and our Lord yes in this gospel does speak about the nature of baptism but it's even deeper than that he talks about what happens when someone has encountered the Holy Spirit it is very much like a new birth when we are receptive and fully able to embrace what the Lord has to offer once we embrace the risen Christ and once we embrace the truth and the availability through our Lord Jesus Christ, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we are in a sense a new person. A person now who is able to speak with clarity, to speak with boldness. And we are the last people in this time of crisis to curl up in our beds in the fetal position and suck our thumbs and wonder what is going to happen in the world because we know what is going to happen in the world. We know that Jesus Christ triumphs over all. And we have to speak that with the greatest boldness. This is not a time to be meek. This is not a time to be silent and mute. The devil is going to run amok in this time because all the defenses of the average lukewarm Christian are falling. This is why our Lord says we cannot be lukewarm. We must be bold, we must be hot, we must be on fire with the Spirit. and We must proclaim what we believe, we must know what we believe. And those around us who simply want to curl up and crawl in a hole we need to reach down with the greatest of love and pull them out. Said, you don't belong there. Come, let me show you where strength is. Let me show you what I know, what I have found. I have been reborn in the spirit, and that is the spirit of the risen Lord. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, risen from the dead. 
The gates of hell cannot prevail against such power. It is given to us. Let us claim it. No bobbing and lopping in the wind. Stay true to the course. Keep your sails full of wind as we move through this Easter season. Praise be Jesus Christ. God, our Father, intently hears our prayers. Let us now offer them. For Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide him as he shepherds his flock, the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, may God grant them the courage and wisdom in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not yet believe in God, may the Lord stir in their hearts a desire to know him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit increase in us the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, particularly those who have no one else to pray for them, may the Lord welcome them into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And for the parish, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we especially this day ask for the intercession of our good patron, St. Joseph, as we pray. As you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raise Jesus, the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, 
And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die so that in your sight we might all live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you with joy, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all those gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, with Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service and that of your whole church. Order in our days your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, 
this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through his participation at the altar receive the holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, you servants who do all sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some shared and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good gifts, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, who graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. And let us acknowledge to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Regrettably, we are still unable to receive Holy Communion together. Therefore, let us again offer our spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I long for you in my soul. And I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come. As though you have already come. I embrace you. I embrace you. And unite myself entirely to you. And unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.